Hi, I'm Dr. Jan Jaffer, and this is Got Teeth, a patient-centric monthly podcast featuring local health experts. So today we have uh, Sandy Cossey, who is the CEO of the Alberta Dental Association. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks so much, Dr. Jaffer. So tell me a little bit about what the Alberta Dental Association is, and then we can talk a little bit about you know what you guys do and some of the some of the stuff that's out there for the public. Wonderful. So the Alberta Dental Association is the member association for all of Alberta's dentists. So we are the voice of the profession um, in terms of advocacy, but also in terms of education for our dentists, but also for patients and the public. Um, we ensure that oral health is a big part of general health, so that people are aware of that and informed, um, and that our government also understands that oral health is a big part of people's general wellness and their livelihood, um, and we need to spend more time and effort focusing on oral health care. Yeah, and I think that's a really important one, right? Because it's sometimes, you know, just the way our health system has been set up, the mouth is almost you know, thought of as, as, as a different part of the body yeah. and then the rest of the body is yeah. taken care of by the medical system and the mouth is taken care of by dentists that are yeah. necessarily out. And it's it's such an important part of our body and also how we get our food into our systems. And yes. a lot of, you know, dentists can pick up a lot of disease or other problems going on in the body can be Absolutely. seen by what's happening in the mouth as well as inflammation. So I think that's great that, you know, we continue to help the public in terms of getting better education and understanding what's going on and how important it is you know, to see the dentist. So I know one of the one of the hot topics, you know, today is about this government plan that's come out and how can we continue to help more people get dental care? And ultimately, I think for dentists, I think for the dental association, I think for the for the government and really everybody, getting more people oral good quality oral health care is important. It's important for our entire healthcare system, but it's important for individuals to stay healthy and stay out of pain and be able to do the things that they do, like going to work and all the rest. Because if we're dealing with tooth pain, I mean, it can be debilitating at times. So talk to me a little bit about this, because I know there's been maybe some misconceptions or a lot of questions. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about, you know, how the Alberta Dental Association is, is active or helping or, or getting the knowledge out about this program that's out there. Well, definitely it is a landmark time for oral health care and dental care in Canada. So when the federal government um, decided to invest more in oral health care, for all those reasons that you mentioned, um, it all starts with the mouth and your health is uh, dependent on your oral health as well. Um, this was a really important opportunity and so our association here in Alberta but also all the other provinces together with the Canadian Dental Association we've been very we've been advocating for this for a while that we need to spend more attention because there's a lot of disease that can be prevented picked up on as you mentioned by your oral health care team by your dentist an important part of our primary health care team um, so when the federal government in, you know announced that they were investing more so that more people could have access to oral health care it was a very welcome opportunity. Um, so the Canadian Dental Care Plan is the federal government's program that will give more access to oral health care benefits, a bit of a subsidy for people that make a combined family income of less than $90,000. Um, so depending on your income level, you will have access to a subsidy from the federal government um, for access to oral health care, which is great. That means more people can get the oral health care they need. Yeah, and I think that's really important, right? Because ultimately we want more people to get oral health care. Mm -hmm. And so if <coughs> excuse me, if the government's helping, mm -hmm. if there's any money that's coming into the system, it's going to make it hopefully better for people that couldn't necessarily afford it. So I know there's been some concerns and some challenges. And again, anytime we get you know the government involved and trying to create a new program, there's mm -hmm. gonna be stuff that's gonna be really successful and there's mm -hmm. stuff that maybe won't, you know, work right off the bat and, and we're gonna get to a place where hopefully it gets better. So Help us understand maybe some of the challenges or some of the questions that the public is not seeing and, and we need to make sure that they understand. Yeah, you bet. We've been um, supporting and working with the federal government. Uh, with, so the 26,000 dentists across the country, um, you know, there, there's been a little bit of lack of consultation, I'll say, in developing the plan at the outset. Um, but we've been working hard to support the federal government as they continue to improve the plan. It's still not perfect. There's still some areas that we need to improve so that this plan works well for taxpayers, but it also works well for dentists and for the patients themselves yeah. that need access to care. Um, so we are still committed to really working hard um, to make sure that some of those details with this new plan 
with anything new, there's going to be a few little, uh, you know, hiccups that need to be sorted out. Um, so there's been some frustrations, I'll say, you know, as the Alberta Dental Association, uh, we, we support our dentists as our members, uh, but we're also here to answer any questions from the public or for patients. Um, so we've had some questions and we've had some concerns raised to us as the association um, in terms of not too sure what this dental care plan is about, what it covers, what it doesn't cover, who they can see, how they can access information. Um, on our website with the Alberta Dental Association.ca slash CDCP, we have a lot of public education and information resources for you and your, your staff, um, but also for patients and the public around um, the Canadian Dental Care Plan. You'll see more resources coming out through our social media channels with Alberta Dentists um, is our handle as well as through the Canadian Dental Association. Um, a lot of that is gonna be focusing on avoiding some of those misconceptions that people have. Unfortunately, uh, the, when this program was announced, it sounded like it was too good to be true that we're gonna get free dental care and any dental services that somebody might provide or that might need would be covered. And unfortunately, that's not the case. Um, there is, it is a comprehensive plan to be sure, and there is some subsidy that patients will receive. Um, however, an individual treatment plan um, has to be discussed with your dentist based on your examination and what I might need, especially if I haven't seen a dentist in a while. Some services are provide or covered, and, and there will be a, a portion of the, the dental services that somebody will still have to pay out of pocket. And again, it's income dependent. So most people actually will have to pay some portion of their dental services. Yeah, and I think that's important. And I think, you know, one of the things that that's going to help this be successful is asking questions yes. and getting the answers. And I think, you know, going to the Alberta Dental Association website, you know, talking with your dentist, right? Absolutely. Like, hey, I've got this plan, you know, what is or what isn't going to get covered? Yeah. Can I find out ahead of time? And, and really, uh, dentists should be able to help most of their patients get a bit of an understanding of, hey, what's covered and what's not covered yeah. before they come in for that appointment, you know, so that you at least go in with your eyes wide open and you know what's happening. And I think that that's, that's a big part of this because we don't want it to negatively affect dentists. We don't want it to negatively affect patients or just, or even the government. Ultimately, we're in this together. We're going to try to figure it out together and it's going to be bumpy to start. I like anything, but we'll get to hopefully a place where it's, it's really efficient and it works really well. But you know, my, my thought is as patients ask and you know, our organization is, is currently in the process of signing up for with all of our offices to get here, you know, just ask the questions. Hey, yeah. I'm coming in for a checkup and cleaning. Can you find out, you know, approximately what would be out of my pocket? That's a fair question to ask, I believe, for a patient. No, so before that they, you go. You know, That's before you go. And then you come in and yeah. you say, hey, I know that this is covered and I'll be paying X number of dollars out of my pocket. You're comfortable okay. with that. At least there's no there's no level of, you know, when you get to the end of it, where you're trying to figure it out and say, oh, I thought I was, I didn't have to pay anything. And yeah. now there is a balance. And that's where I think problems start in these situations. Absolutely. And that's why we are trying to dispel some of those myths and misconceptions that people might have. Um, so definitely the Alberta Dental Association is here. Talk to your dentist. You yeah. know, if you are um, somebody that is eligible under the Canadian Dental Care Plan um, and you're looking for an appointment, you can talk to your dentist around what is covered, what might not be covered. Um, but we are really encouraging people to know before you go. Not all dentists are signing up. Mm -hmm. um, and that is causing some frustrations for some people too because there are some fundamental um, challenges with the program that some dentists still see that might impact their, their practice their, and their patient care. Uh, there are some concerns around patient privacy that the government still needs to address with mm -hmm. respect to um, how the benefit plan is administered for people and so we're working hard to help improve some of those processes because we want this program to work for patients yeah. and for dentists. Okay. No, and that's great. I mean, I think that that's ultimately the important part that people need to know is that dentists want it to work. The Dental Association Absolutely. wants it to work. The government wants it to work. It's going to take a little bit to get to that point of, of success. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's better to start somewhere and start to start to work it through. And so, again, use the resources that are out there to get the information. Chat with your dentist. Let's, let's see if we can make this successful and really help people get better dental care and people who weren't getting care get some level of care so that they can, you know, stay healthy. Absolutely. And our focus with the Alberta Dental Association is supporting dentists so that we can have healthy Albertans. Perfect. Well, great. Thank you for your time. Great. Thank you.